IRENA was created as an extraordinary example of a new type of international organization that actually addresses an emerging issue rather than a problem of the past. And we have extraordinary progress over the last eight years in terms of innovation, the development of technology, and the fundamental changes that we are seeing in energy systems around the world. What we've seen over the last five to seven years is a gigantic transformation that nobody had expected would come as fast. The cost reductions of renew renewables are, are absolutely amazing and they're basically changing the equation and the fundamental economics of power generation. So renewables will become the dominant source of energy in the future energy system, uh, which is increasingly also an electric one. The, the bottom-up, you know, uh, is about putting people at the center. Because whatever you do, you need to really go deep. And that's what the bottom up is important. Go from there, listen to people, then you're able to design what they need and make it available. Well, the European Union is convinced that cooperation with the private sector is vital if we're going to achieve the objectives that we've set ourselves for the uh, clean energy transformation and in particular for the development of renewables. And we've already seen in areas like wind and photoelectric how quickly the private sector can embrace new technologies when they become available and when they are commercially uh, viable. But we also know that uh, uh, publicly funded research is necessary to de-risk the less uh, mature technologies and that's where we think we can intervene. We see globally an accelerating innovation. Uh, we see rapidly falling technology costs so these components are really important to uh, deploy more renewables. Uh, there is now a big emphasis uh, on uh, more renewables in the power sector and especially variable renewable integration, so solar PV and wind, uh, require some attention. And the other interesting aspect about digitalization in energy is it allows us to transform the relationship with our customers. So within energy, until now, we've forecasted what the customers want and then implemented systems to meet their needs without really engaging with them. Energy is a consumer product like anything else and the consumer revolution and the, the big brands will move into it. One of the fundamental uh, shifts that we are witnessing in the energy system on a global scale right now is a shift from centralized systems through decentralized and towards a distributed energy system where every node potentially is a prosumer. Who doesn't want to know what blockchain actually can do in the energy sector? And I find it most promising because some of the institutional innovation that we propose will require more complex transactions to happen between consumers and energy producers. Therefore, technology such as blockchain and AI will be able to decrease the complexity of such transactions for today consumers. We need to electrify our public transportation system and cities in Latin America are already doing that. And then you have the electrification of private cars, which is also a very important story because it's fleets for the state, for the municipalities, fleets for cars that are moving goods. And that story is already taking place in Latin America, little by little, but a country like mine, Costa Rica, has approved the first law to promote electric mobility, so that is already a blueprint for others. So what's happening in Africa is that, you know, you have the sunniest place in the world having the least uh, penetration of reliable electricity. You have over 650 million people estimated that uh, still need access to energy. So it's quite important to, to realize access to energy because access to energy also unlocks other accesses, so access to education, access to good health, um, gender equity. There's a whole lot of spin-offs that are very socially relevant and economically important. An event such as this one organized by ARENA is uh, very critical so that we can debate the challenges and the opportunities out there. Dialogue is very important uh, when you have decision makers, policy makers, uh, technology uh, developers, financiers, NGOs, SMEs. Everybody comes here to discuss uh, common challenges and, and identify opportunities here. The fundamental importance of the IRENA framework is that we are able to connect disparate regions of the world, different actors in different parts of the world, and what you find is that the problems are very similar. The solutions are very similar. Some regions have more advanced thinking in one area, others are finding solutions in others, 
So this is an international framework that brings all actors together as equals to discuss what their role in the energy transition is, what the opportunities that it presents to them are, and what a common approach can be that can take us to a positive future. Thank you.